what is up y'all it is your boy dame here with my first youtube video my first tabling vlog super excited to be here um and share my experience with y'all i found that tabling vlogs really helped me um get started and figure out things that i wanted to figure out so i thought i'd take you guys on this journey with me through tabling because these will be my my first few tables like alone i've been tabling with a friend thus far um and haven't really done any on my own so you guys will be with me as i figure out what my tabling setup looks like as well as just you know the journey in general my name is dame i am a 24 year old artist i have been doing digital art for about the past six months um, but have been scattered with experience over the course of years of just art related things from journalism to video editing to graphic design um and have now just pulled all of those skills and that knowledge over into uh digital art and tabling so uh today is the first table by myself i'm headed to louisville kentucky today and i am super excited because i've never been to louisville um and one of my favorite musicians, Bryson Tiller, is from there. Also, Jack Harlow. Um, hoping to, you know, have a good time, make some sales, meet some new people, start a new audience. Because I am based in Columbus, Ohio right now. And so I am looking to expand my audience and just keep seeing who wants to engage with my art and who's out there. So, yeah, let's hop straight into the vlog. What is up, y'all? It is the morning of. It's about 11, 10 a.m. I am just now in the car. As you can see, I got everything loaded up in the back there. Um, I am on my way to Indiana. Um, yeah, so we can go ahead and get, get it rocking. Um, so yeah, we're on the way. I'm super excited about it. Um, it's not until like 2 p.m. this afternoon, but I wanted to go ahead and, you know, get there because they said it was first come first serve um, because they moved it indoors now it's a smaller market there's only about 15 to 16 vendors that are gonna be there um, yeah we'll see how it goes uh, again this is a six ways market so I'm not really sure what to expect excuse me they did one here in Ohio uh, in Columbus in particular about maybe like last week um, for the first time and it's it, it looked decent enough in terms of food traffic um, I think my concern is making sure that I meet my quotas for today um, and you know just really seeing what the six ways markets have in store because like I said I have another one on Saturday and I'll be vlogging that one as well um, I'll be vlogging my way through the next couple of shows towards the end of October so we'll be expecting all of that content to come out all right, until later, I will check in with y'all. All right, y'all, what is up? We have made it to Indianapolis. Uh, I'm sorry, we made it to Indiana. Um, and we are here. Sorry, the wind's gonna fuck up my audio, but At the market, uh, I am all set up. I'll just show you guys a clip of that in a moment. Um, I realized I recorded the, this whole thing with the microphone off, so you guys probably couldn't hear me. Uh, but I got the microphone working now. We're here. We're set up. We arrived super early. Um, some of the other vendors are getting in here now. For uh, the market, is set to go. So we'll see how things go. Uh, Stay tuned for some more info. And this is what the front of the table looks like. We got all of the printer things hanging up. We put up the keychains up here. We also have our price sheet. We have our bookmark down here. I got some old skulls. Um, these are new to the table. The runner and both the sculptures that I put out there. Got some candy, zines, stickers. And then prints as well. Um, I wanted to get tote bags in here, but I didn't have enough time to mess around with them. Uh, this is what the front of the table looks like. And then we got the back of the table over here, which is our little cubby with all of our supplies and things. And then we got the 
that down there. We got disease and prints in there, as well as some of the bookmarks. Um, got my business cards out. I just stuffed some of the bags with some of the little acrylic figures that I had, as well as something new on the table. These Halloween themed acrylic sculptures that I put together, which was super fun to make. Um, but yeah, this is what the table looks like. Um, some of the other videos are coming in right now and setting up. Um, so yeah, super excited to see how the market goes. We are about 20 minutes into the market. Um, it stopped raining, which is so great because I was concerned about it raining and people coming down because we're by the water. Um, it's been interesting so far. There's a lot of um, clothing vendors here. Um, there are a few other vendors who are doing some kind of other handmade things like candles and jewelry and things like that. Um, but yeah. Oh, also the woman who's running it um, came around and let us know that they'll be waiving the vendor fee, which is super dope because they're new to this venue and this area as well. So they're trying to, um, they don't know how much we're going to make and there's no guarantees. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's only been 20 minutes, so just gonna see where the market takes us. What is up y'all? It is two hours into the event and I am freezing because I was like, no, we're gonna be indoors. It's not gonna be that cold, but they did indeed open this large door that they have uh, to the patio. So now here I am freezing. I'm right in front of it actually, right across from it. <laughs> um, but I trying to stomach it um i've made a few sales so far um it's been interesting um definitely new to this area we're like right across from the bridge that connects kentucky and indiana so that's been interesting to kind of see people come in get to network with some of the other vendors here which has been super cool super fun um there's a lot of vintage resellers here, like I said earlier. And so I'll probably buy something. Um, I think the resellers have been like pulling people in, which is great. Um, so people have been coming in to shop for clothes. Um, I've caught some of the stragglers who are like looking for a bookmark or stickers or things like that. Um, yeah, just learning that next time I need to bring an emergency jacket. I always bring an emergency jacket. Hi. So, yeah. We shall see how it goes. What is up, y'all? It is about 8 p.m. right now. Um, two more hours left in the market. Uh, starting to slow down. It started raining again outside, so... It's a little, looking a little slower. Um, yeah, we'll see how the rest of the event goes. Made a couple more sales, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, got some pretty solid advice on some places to get new prints and um, what markets are a little bit more popular. So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm try to stay all the way to the end so that way I can, you know, see who else comes to the door and wanders in. Um, and then get some food. I did forget to bring extra food. I bought lunch, but I didn't bring dinner. Um, and I wasn't, I, it's really because I forgot that this market was until 10. And so <laughs> I didn't pack dinner. Um, so that'll be a fun thing to figure out after everything's over. Um, I'll check back in. Probably when the event is over and I'm done packing and I start packing up. Uh, yeah. What is up, guys? All right. So that was the end of the tabling event. We actually ended an hour early because we just knew folks weren't going to come. Um, it was a slow, slow day. I talked to some of the other vendors. They said that they, they, they religiously do six ways events. Um, and they said that six ways actually is usually a lot more lit. Um, and that today was just a slow day. Um, so that was that was cool to know so that way i know to like keep doing six ways events if i want to um i have another six ways event on saturday like i've been saying 
and so it'll be interesting to see what saturday brings um and see where we go from there um yeah for this market eh, i give it about a five um i only made uh about 50 bucks um but luckily the fee was waived so the 50 bucks that i made was all profit so that was cool um i spent about 30 on gas so overall i made more money than i spent which is great um and i'm about to go get me some food now um and eat some dinner and yeah that that's it for this vlog for the six ways um derby city market um so post my trip to louisville i found out that that market in particular was a new market for them um for six ways who was the people who organized the event it was new um it was only about a 55 dollars table fee which was cool i'll break down the prices here in a second and like you know what i made and all those different things luckily though this time they did waive the tabling fee which was super awesome because i'm gonna be honest with y'all there was no traffic in there like it was raining we were like by the water so it was even worse because like when you're by the water and it's raining it's like raining the most you know um and so it's like people weren't coming down near the water when it was raining either um there was a restaurant across the parking lot that was cool but even still the restaurants traffic wasn't really coming in like we got some stragglers we got a few people which was pretty cool um but not 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 as many as i was thinking for it being in louisville which is like a major city here in like the midwest like southern region i don't know what to call this area anywho uh so yeah but i did get to meet some new vendors which i was, which I was really excited about i got some new manufacturers and things like that for prints and stickers and was able to make some more tabling contacts in indiana uh, which is great um, people were telling me about their experience with six ways markets because a lot of the people that i was there with have done six ways before um and so this was my first time and so like they were like yeah markets aren't usually like the one that i was at which is great to know um because i might still keep doing tables with them i do like the way that they do like tabling setups and like the way that they're they're pretty cool people um i think that i don't know based off of this event i'm a little skeptical but i'll be vlogging my way through my next show which is also with them so i'm super excited to see how that one goes too um overall i spent about 55 dollars on the table um but they waived the fee so there was no tabling fee but i spent about 60 dollars in gas plus about seven or eight dollars in like food and beverages uh because i got a matcha and some food after the show so overall spent about seventy dollars on everything and only made about 58 back so this one was definitely not a net positive for me um but it's okay it was the first one we'll chalk it in the bag you know um and just keep moving forward and seeing you know where we go next um be sure to like comment and subscribe if you're liking this content um you can also follow me on instagram i also have my website that you guys can go to if you want to purchase any art at the current moment um but yeah be sure to keep it locked here until next time peace